What's up? Going, uh, I was fishing here and I'm not catching anything. And I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes and I brought my Pentax camera with me. And there just happens to be all these vultures. Can you see them up there? In the, let me see. See them up there in the trees? There's probably close to 100 there. No, probably between 50 and 75. And then across the lake over there, I don't know if you can see that, but there's also about 50 or 75. But you can see them. You see that guy? They keep on flying across. Now, this isn't the type of photography I normally do, but I'm going to show you how I set it up when I do this type of photography um, on the camera here. So, we got the Pentax K70 here. So, I've got it in just basically what I use all the time is AV mode. So, we're going to do some changes here. Um, so, now, if you notice, the sky is, is kind of, even though it's overcast, it's kind of bright. And these are black vultures. So, they're very dark. So, there's a big, huge difference in there. So, we want to... We want to uh, overexpose these birds as, as they're flying through the sky. So first thing I'm going to do is hit exposure compensation here. I'm going to jack this up to like a stop and a half. So when it's, it's metering across, it's going to overexpose a little bit. So um, we could actually see the birds. It's not, not all gone in the shadows. Uh, so what else do we need to set? I'm going to go under here in, under info and instead of shooting in raw, we want to shoot in JPEG. That way we get more frames per second. We go back here and I'm just in a single shot. So we're going to, you know, we're going to do continuous shooting. So let's do in hyper there. Um, also, um, here we need to go on your AF instead of single. We'll do the continuous. Um, what else do we need? Right here, uh, instead of uh, one single point autofocus, we're going to do 11 here. And um, let's see what else. So if I hold it up the sky, it's around, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be out at 300. So we'll get up to 300 with the PLM here. It's F6.3. So you can see the shutter speed's not, not going not gonna, gonna to be really good for, needs to be quicker. So if I uh, up the, the ISO to 1600, we're, we're at 1 750th of a second. So that's probably pretty good. We might want to go higher. We'll, we'll try a few shots here and see. Hopefully some of these uh, vultures go back across. But if you've set it up like this and you want to, you, you could, um, you're going to do this type of photography, you might want to save it in the user mode so you just don't have to keep on switching it all the time when, you, when you're when you going out and doing this. I got auto audit balance on. So uh, let's just take a picture of some of these birds in the tree. None are, well, there's some over there flying across. Hopefully uh, one of those catfish doesn't, <laughs> or, well, yeah, I would like a catfish, but uh, hopefully it doesn't pull my cooler in while I'm out here. So there's some, I don't know if you can see those, they're just sitting there right there in the tree. So I'm going to take a shot of those just to show you what, see how this overexposure works. So, so if I put info here, whoops, if I with the info i don't know if you can see that it went to one five hundredth of a second and we're at f 6.3 you can see they're right there and yeah you could make out their faces and everything so that that is a good setting right there so we're going to use that hopefully some of these birds will fly across Let's see what we get here there's a ton see See all those? Hey. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> oh, there's one flying across. Let's see if we can do this. All right. I think it might've gone a little slow there. We've got one 500 of a second. So there we go. We're getting there. Look at that. The wings. You see all that? Well, I'll blow it up here so you can see it. But yeah, that, uh, and then as you can see here, the shutter speed got a little slower. Whoops. When it got closer to the trees, it, the scene got a little darker and you get a little bit of motion blur there. So one five hundredth of a second, they're fighting up there. Hold on. Let's see here. Of course, just when I... <laughs> okay well anyway that's how you set up your camera um 
I would suggest saving it to a user mode if you want. Um, but here's some images that I shot throughout the day. The only thing about this, uh, this type of shooting, that's why I don't do bird shooting a lot, is because you're going to shoot, you know, 200 plus <laughs> shots and you have to go search through them on, and find them. I, I, that's why I like Manscapes. You only got, you know, 25 shots or whatever to go through to find the best one. This one you're searching through a couple of hundred at least. So anyway, take a look at these shots. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, is there a setting that you use different when if you do birding type photography? Thanks for watching.